Good afternoon, I'm Kate Walsh. First at noon, an intense fire we showed you all morning on 12 News. It's been nearly 10 hours now, and fire crews in Tiverton continue to douse what's left of the flames. The Pinpoint News Tracker is showing you the site off Kings Road. It's surrounded by woods, and because there was no water supply in the area, officials say it took quite a bit of time to get set up. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshuto is live on scene in Tiverton this noon time with the latest on the efforts to get that fire out once and for all. Sheena. Well, Kate, in a moment, you'll see some of that crazy video our cameras captured overnight. But take a look behind me at this hour right now. Smoke continues to rise from the debris and the fire chief here says it will likely look like that for a few more hours. The height of this fire in Tiverton looking more like a scene out of a movie. An inferno sweeping through an auto lot overnight off of Kings Road. Dozens of crushed cars disintegrating. Tiverton's fire chief says the call first came in at about 2.30 this morning. Someone heard explosions and saw smoke and fire. With no hydrants in the area, multiple tanker trucks had to be called in. Initially, we had a large volume of fire, so it was applying large amounts of water, probably about 1,500 gallons a minute. And now what we're doing is we're with a front end loader, we're breaking the pile apart and working with hand lines to get the uh, <laughs> remaining fire. And at least eight hours later, this is what the scene looked like, with fire trucks from communities near and far coming in and out all morning. It's going to take quite a while. It's going to continue to smolder as we break it apart. Uh, more cars will flare up, but we'll eventually get to it. And then we got a, a large cleanup. We have a lot of hose and equipment deployed. So what caused this fire? The cause right now remains under investigation. Thankfully, though, fire officials say no one was hurt. We're going to continue working this story for you all day long. For now, reporting live in Tiverton, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.